In this video, I'm going to explain how to calculate the effective interest rate. In previous video, we learned how to calculate the period interest rate, which is nominal interest rate R divided by number of compounding period per year M. So to calculate the future value, you will need to know the number of period from present time and desired future, and also period interest rate. For example, F Future value at the end of year 1 equals P multiply 1 plus I power M, where M is the number of compounding period per year. An effective interest rate is the interest rate that when applied once per year, it will give you the same amount of interest equal to a nominal rate of R. Annual percentage yield or APY is the term that is used in the banking industry for effective interest rate. You can see here when you read somewhere that for example interest rate is 6% compounded monthly it is a bit confusing because it doesn't tell you what would be the actual interest rate per year. Effective interest rate is the rate that helps us here. Effective interest rate is the per year rate that gives you exactly the same interest equal to using nominal rate that is compounded multiple times a year. Going back to the example in previous video, you saw that if you deposit $100 in a bank account that gives you 6% interest rate compounded monthly, you will receive $106 plus 17 cents per year. So you can guess effective interest rate here can be 6.17%. Now let's see if we can find a general equation. In previous slide, I explained how we calculate the F1 future value at the end of year one from period interest rate I and number of compounding periods per year M. If we want to calculate the future value at the end of year 1 using effective interest rate, here we show it with F2, V will have F2 equal P multiply 1 plus E power 1. Effective interest rate is E and we want to calculate the future value in the end of year 1. The future value of money at the end of year 1 using per period interest rate and effective interest rate should be equal. So F1 should be equal to F2. And we have equation 2, 1. This equation can be written for I. E is the effective interest rate. M is the number of compounding periods per year. And I is period interest rate. Going back to the example in the previous video, we, we deposited $100 in a bank account that gives us 6% of interest compounded monthly. To calculate the effective interest rate, we need to calculate the period interest rate first, and then we use the equation that we just extracted. So effective interest rate would be 6.17%, which means if we apply 6 0.17% interest rate per year, it will give us exactly the same future value as applying interest rate of 6% compounded monthly.